And guys, of course, we can always do checkpoints like we did before in our other tutorials. For example, we can come down here to get Geo IP results and we can validate some values, right? Like return code. What did we expect? GBR, I think, country name, United Kingdom. Okay, and then we can run it and see what happens. Make sure these validates open up. You guys see it's disabled. When I click validate, it opens up the field to be validated. Compiling down here. Compilation finished successfully. Now it's sending the SOAP request. We got the response back. And by the way, do you guys see how fast this is compared to GUI testing? Like you've tested this GOIP service multiple times already so fast. And imagine if you had to do it in the UI. You probably have to, you know, imagine if you're like going into Google and you're typing in this IP address and trying to see what it returns. That's what you would have to do if you were automating it, how much more time it would take. So this failed, I think because I didn't provide some of the correct codes, we can actually see checkpoints. So checkpoint two, uh, success because we expected GBR, actual value success and, oh, that, that's what failed. And then here we expected the uh, United Kingdom and we got back United Kingdom. So this was just my fault because this is my first time working with this web service and I'm not too familiar in all of the details. So I just entered the incorrect value. We should have been looking for a success value. And I can tell you that this web service is working correctly just because it's known, it's already been tested, it's in production, and it's what I'm using as an example because it does function correctly.